one, two, and then when he really feels me lean forward, he's gonna bump, freeze here for a second, come back for a second. No, I said he took my shoulder to the opposite side. This is important. How much of my weight do you feel on your body right now? None. None. That's the secret. He keeps going and rolls me over. Boom. Now, ideally, if he gets me in a headlock position, what I want is to pull my elbow to the floor and turn to my side. And then, depending where we are, I could either start making my frame or doing other things. But sometimes what happens, he catches my arm and he grabs his thigh inside with his leg here. And now it's like very hard for me to escape the hand. Even making the frame becomes very, very difficult, especially if he's kind of putting his head down and stuff like that. I'm kind of in trouble here because I can't pull my uh, right arm out. Even if he lets go of this arm, look, because his thigh is in the way, this is very problematic for me. So if I try to escape my hand here, he's just gonna use his leg, boom, to catch my arm inside here and submit me either this way or sometimes he pushes the other leg and gets a straight arm right here, boom. So once your partner has your arm here and the thigh is close to your head, you're kind of in big trouble here. So just a tiny bit. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna connect my two hands together. And if your part is super huge, you can just hug your partner here, holding the shoulder, holding the waist here. But if your part is not too huge and you can connect your hands, that's a good start. So I wanna roll him to the left. If I try to roll him to the left now, I won't be able to succeed because he's got a good position and he's gonna react to it by bringing his hips more closer to the floor. So when I try to pull him. So what I wanna do is create uh, initial motion that I could use to set him up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to introduce his forehead to the pavement or the mat here. And the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to bring my feet close to him, close to him here, and I'm going to bump this way to start to make him move. And if he hits his head to the floor, if he keeps going with it, right, I'm able to continue and turning and get on top. But normally people are not going to make it that easy. And you could do this once or twice, as many times as you need to. So what happens when I start to bump into him, I start to feel him overreact, right? So I bump in and I start to feel his body leaning into me. So right, I go into him and I feel him counterbalance leaning into me. So what I'm gonna do from here is I'm going to continue with my hands here. I'm gonna bump up what I want, his far shoulder go to the top left corner here, right? So instead of uh, for turning into him and then turning like this over my body, especially if he's like 300 pounds, it's gonna be really heavy. I'm gonna bump up and I'm gonna take his shoulder to the opposite side so his weight does not touch my body. And then I switch with Yorgos here. So if I have Yorgos, and look at the position here. It's not just like this, because then he could do whatever to escape. Boom. I'm gonna grab underneath his armpit, I'm sorry, behind his elbow. I'm gonna bring my thigh really close to his head and hide. I'm gonna crush him here with all my weight. Very common position in judo as well. So the first thing he's gonna do, so he's gonna connect his hands together and he's gonna try to smash my head into the floor like this. If I do nothing, boom, and this happens, that's great for your ghost. But of course, no one's gonna do that. He tries to push me here. Look, I'm gonna base out into my legs, find my base, I'm gonna counterbalance a little bit. And he could push one, two, before taking me over. So go one, bump forward, one, two. And then when he really feels me lean forward, he's gonna bump, freeze here for a second, come back for a second. No, I said he took my shoulder to the opposite side. This is important. How much of my weight do you feel on your body right now? None. None. That's the secret. He keeps going and rolls me over. Boom. Let's have you go still here one more time. I think that's like, oh man, I was gonna have you demonstrate oh. again. That's just fine. So you're here now. So again, the secret here, once you guys hear, is once you create that motion of your partner pulling forward, like listen to me talk, when I try to go over this way, you're gonna feel his weight on my body. That's not what I want. So step one, connect your arms. Step two, push your partner to the right first. When you feel him start to push into you, you take him up to his opposite shoulder. North side, stay in my bridge here, because now I don't feel any of his weight. Look how comfortably I'm able to talk. And then I turn over to your left, still being able to talk comfortably. Get him in the headlock. Get the side position, he's gonna one, connect his arms. Two, he's gonna push me to one side. When I counterbalance, he's gonna bump, take my shoulder over and continue. And so on. Thank you, Google. Okay, guys, let's do it. One, two, three.